to WCW Worldwide. Another exclusive matchup for you. Tag team competition on this new Blood Rising weekend. A couple of young men. That's Chris Harris. His tag team partner is Matt Stryker. And they are going to be going into the ring this week on Worldwide against two members of the Filthy Animals. Rey Mysterio Jr. and the Disco Inferno, Tony. What an odd couple that is. Now, Rey Jr., we know, is hip, is cool, is Latino. But how do you fit the Disco Inferno in here? He's, well, none of the above. That's right. What does Scott Hudson call him? Dim, shady? The hip-hop inferno. Tigress leads the way. K-Dog as well. Conan joins Ray Jr. And the Disco Inferno. What is the story with Ray Mysterio and those horns? And where do you get that goatee? Ray's been spending too much time in wardrobe and makeup lately. So yeah, someone, I guess, has fooled him and that looks good too. But maybe it's the, the, the devil in Ray Jr. just coming out, right? Either that or they've shaved Tank Habits goatee. Yo, Ray! What the? Here's Dim Shady. Yo, D.I. What the? Yo, Conan! What the? <laughs> Did you lose your voice there? Where my dogs at? Where they at? They're all over the worldwide arena. Whoopty whoop, chicka what? Whoopty whoop, chicka what? Yo, 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 let me speak on this. Orale! Arriba la raza! Yo, Tigress, you like this shirt? Go ahead, feel. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, that disco's a goof, isn't he? Orale! Idiot. Yes, tag team action this week on Worldwide, and as far as the tag teams in WCW are concerned, and now we are joined at the broadcast position by K-Dog himself, Conan, and let's find out what Conan thinks about the filthy animals, K-Dog, on the outside looking in this Sunday at New Blood Rising. Four top tag teams from World Championship Wrestling are going to be vying for the World Tag Titles. Chronic putting the belts on the line in that four-way match, but the filthy animals are nowhere to be found. Well, it doesn't matter. Like I said before, this is Mexican strategy. We already have a game plan set, and I'm going to tell you right now, if we don't take that title at New Blood Rising, whoever has it, we're going to take it from the very next week. We're already talking with the cat, and we're going to have a match set up for the very next week. Now, this Mexican strategy that you talk about, the last time that you employed the so-called Mexican strategy, you had a chance to be in this match at New Blood Rising, and it didn't work out too well. Mike Tanay, don't don't goad me because you saw what happened with Scott Steiner. If you don't want that to happen again, you need to back off. You know what I'm saying? I would do what it says, man. Why, is, why all of a sudden do I have a bullseye on, on me? That, your breath is craculating. You need a like a breath mint or a lifesaver or something. I think I just I, used mouthwash before I came out. Here. I think, what are you talking about? I think I actually saw your teeth duck before your breath came out. I mean, uh, I might, I might have. Let me move over here, uh, Tony. Tony, I have another question yeah. for you. Watch here's a cover. You guys are cool. There's no doubt about that. That's right? right. But how in the world do you justify having that Disco Inferno come to the ring with? Boy, great question. Disco Inferno is a new tush to kiss. He's a hip-hop inferno, oh, okay. a double H-I. He's a man with the play. Right now, what you're seeing is Disco is toying with these guys. We're practicing for New Blood Rising. We're going to come out on top. What? Disco's a cool guy. You just haven't hung out with him enough. Practicing guess, for guess... New Blood Rising and come out on top? You're not even on the card. Well, you never know what might happen. That's right. You don't know if they're going to show up or not. Hmm. WCW, you never know what might happen. Yep. Somebody might get hurt before they get into the ring. What would happen then? You might need a substitution. Sounds, ah. like Mexican, sounds like Mexican strategy to me. That's right. Young Matt Stryker, hook of the leg, and gets a two count on Disco Inferno. Matt Stryker, Chris Harris in this tag match. Stryker from the Les Thatcher Heartland Wrestling promotion heads to the top. That's a beautifully done moonsault, except for one thing. No Disco Inferno on the receiving end. That's right. We're a lot smarter than these guys. we got more pizzazz, more charisma, more ability, more everything. They're our class. What is the story with Ray Ray and the uh, devil horns and the goatee? He's a devilish guy. You know how it is. I mean, he's, what Tigress says. That's right. 
Chris Harris puts on the brakes. Disco able to catch him on guard. Directed into the canvas by Ray Jr. Now the double team by the filthy animals. The hip hop inferno sets him up in the corner. And Here's a Bronco Buster. Here's a stocky stalker. Boom, 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 boom. He won't soon forget that. Now where? To the other side of the ring. Boom, and boom, another stocking boom, another stuffer another stocking for Matt Stryker. And it ain't even Christmas yet. We're in a giving mood. Christmas in August with the filthy animals. You never know what to expect from us. And like I said before, Tony, what would happen if Gingerbread and O'Hare were hurt in the dressing room? What would happen if Columbo and Stasiak, what? I don't know, missed their flight for some reason? And maybe we had to take their place. I think if any team would have to take their place, it would be you guys. Yeah. You we guys would, we would have to. Oh. We would, we'd have no choice. We'd have to. Well-placed leg drop by Ray Jr. and the, and the ensuing three count. And that is Mexican strategy. Strategy, Tony Savani and Mike today. I agree with Don't count your fingers before their hats. We're going to take that title. It's been your pleasure. Ray Will they be a part of New Blood Rising? Let's send it back to the studio. Scott Hudson's going to run down the entire event for us.